as this automation grip is coming here hello and welcome to my channel today we continue the production in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can automate third party plugin in fl studio so if you don't know third party plugins they are those plugins which doesn't come with fl studio so the same process i'm going to show you here you can also do it with effect which a third part effect just one and the same thing so let's get started so i've already made this guitar just here the way i've played the guitar mirrored and the strings here before we get started okay so that's a guitar so what i want to do i want to automate this guitar from nexus this one so the knob i want to automate is this one which is the spread so this one it will make your guitar to sound bouncing left and right so i want to automate this so what i want to do i want this guitar to be played centered the way it was playing the way you have heard it then on the other bar i want it to be bouncing left right here i'm going to drag this knob up to you can read from down here i'll put it at 41 percent i'll put it at 41 percent so what i'm going to do here i'm going to open this one which is then view browser slash plugin picker so i'm going to click here so that you can see what will happen here i'm going to come here then from here i'll click here where it is then plugin options i'll click here so just observe what to happen this side here so here i'm going to click on browse perimeter or browse perimeters so when i click here it is going to open this in fl studio so when I click here, just check what will happen. You're going to understand when it opens this site. So when I click here, so have you seen what it has done? It has opened this. So when I scroll down, this knob, which is this one, it's see, this one, which is here, which has been open here. So this is a knob which I want to automate, which is this one here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to right click on this one. So if you get confused, which knob is which, like here, it's difficult to even read because here it is then spread. But here, you can't read the word spread. Just SP, I'm sure it's the one which is spread yet. It is not just finished here. So what you can do if you want to know which knob, when you scroll down, there's this like a play button here. It is pointing the knob which you touched last. Or in short, if you want to know, you can see where this like uh, a sign here or a symbol it will be inside that's a sign that yeah, this is a knob which you have touched last you can see others they are in straight line but this one is a bit inside so this is a knob which i touched last which is yeah, this one here so i'm going to right click here then i'm going to copy value i'll click here you're going to understand why i'm copying value later on when yeah, we reach on that state of oh, using this value which you are going to copy here. so i'm going to copy it after doing that let me just close this so that yeah, you can yeah, see automation clip appearing here so i'm going to right click again then i'll go to create automation clip so just check here on the playlist you're going to see that automation clip will appear so if i click on create automation clip have you seen that daisy automation clip which has been created here with the name of this guitar let me just cross this then extend this so that you're able to see it properly so with this guitar here it is already playing spread because i've already put it on spread here so what i want to do this bars from here to here i want it to be just playing centered so what i'm going to do i'll just click here then i'll click here then i'm going to drag this all the way down i'll come here i'll drag it all the way down if you want you can make your automation clip to just start there and then if you want you can make it to be fading in so what i mean you're going to understand it when i'm showing you what it is going to be doing when i've done some settings with the automation clip here so as you can see have you seen that this knob is down here because of what i've done here so here if you want you can just want it to jump into this bars and be bouncing left right by just dragging this and put it here and you get this one put it here then you right click so as you can see i was dragging this automation clip you can see that some volumes have been changed here so you can see that this line is not straight so what it means that i have done some changes here so if i want to have the same changes which i've done like making the spread of that guitar at 41 percent i'll just right click and then paste that value i copied earlier which you saw at first when i was copying that value so i'm going to paste that value i copied earlier so even here i can do the same paste value so here if you want you can be creative by just doing this you get this one you drag it to somewhere here then you get this one drag it back here then you right click paste value then here same thing right click paste value so then here you can bring it a bit down so that it's like a curve 
so that as this automation grip is coming here, it won't just jump, but it would fade in smoothly so that it is giving me that good transition. So just check what will happen to this knob as this automation grip has been put here. Just check what will happen. Let me just open Nexus again, close this one. So I'll just put it in, let me put this one down here. So just check what will happen to this spread button here as the guitar will be playing. So you are afraid that the guitar is bouncing when it reaches here and this knob was being dragged. This has been Frederick. Thank you very much for watching and I'm out.